disappointed start to the day because it's raining for day three but it ain't been too bad matter of fact i really enjoy being on pay out more so than anywhere before and i'm gonna miss sitting there and i'm gonna miss this little place not a hammock of an afternoon where I can sit and smoke bifter and drink beer and listen to the noises of the jungle and look down there <laughs> oh and the whapping the whapping <laughs> oh, we're fucked up already mate the lapping of the waves <sighs> so gonna miss this place man but it's been raining today will be the third day and I smoked all my dope and I drank all my beer so there's nothing much to do except leave here today oh, but I tell you Payam, Co Payam even in the last couple of days of rain it's just wicked sitting there just listening to the waves oh, and then just falling asleep on the hammock and then going to bed when the sun sets, after the sun sets, when the sun goes down, that's it, lights out. And then when the sun comes up, I leave the curtains open. They even got curtains in the room, so. And I'm sitting there in bed, laying in bed. I, I did clean the windows, I just look out at the sea, and the rain, and the sunset, and listen to the wildlife. Which is per normal, it's pretty quiet this morning. So I'm pulling out, <laughs> no internet, the sixth day. Today is, I think the sixth day, so it could even be a week. Ferry doesn't leave until three o'clock. I'm supposed to check out at 12 o'clock. So I am having my last little, even though it's raining, little walk up the beach. I'm really going to miss this place. <laughs> I was say as I walk down these little steps. I have the last two days. I haven't even done a vlog. I haven't. I've just been stuck on the balcony literally smoking myself silly for the last 48 hours. I've had my old little days down here where I've come. I had a little sunbathe on that beach. It's just wicked. I'll have a little walk. Oh, okay. Awesome. The tide is out. That's good because I've got my boots on. The bar I want to go to, I want to go back to the hippie hay because I like to buy a t shirt <laughs> for the places I've been and the things I've seen. And I believe buying a t shirt from the hippie hay, I've got to buy a t shirt from that bar, really. And tell everybody what wonderful bar you bought your t-shirt from and then you can show them a picture on youtube or a vlog <gasps> look at that place man oh man <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna do they don't open until half ten <sighs> looks like feels like stop raining but what a place to stay at the bungalows i stay which is cool, next time I'll try and get that one. It's got less trees in the way. And we'll fly down to this beach. And it's a pretty cool beach to be on. Over at sunset. Or well, sun in the afternoon. I say the sunrise on the other side of the island. Oh man. It's the first time I've spoken in. Did I speak yesterday? I may have done as I went to get provisions from the provision shop at the crossroads. I went too far. Thing is, on Payam, there's not much to do, you know. There's not many places to go. There's not many beaches. There's not many shops open. There's not many bars open or restaurants. There's not many of anything. And I've got no internet. And the lights go off at some times with no electric. Right? So you consider you take all what I haven't got. And this is the best place I've been. 
you know, in Thailand. I could live here, live here really easily. And uh, I haven't got no fridge, so I've had to do with getting the two kilos of ice each day. It's just there, I'm down to two litres a day. So that, that, that's all good. I feel like um, I've had a big reset button and it's been needed and it's really cool. I'm back to square one again. <laughs> back to the beginning. And the day is like so, I've got to start vlogging again today, which will be, well, I don't know, I might run into two vlogs, depending on how long this one goes on for, really. Um, so that's it, I've, I've, I've walked this beach before, obviously with you guys, only maybe a vlog or so before seeing what litter is on the beach. Right, I'll chill it there, guys. Otherwise, I'm just got to run on and I'm boy, I'm got to walk up here and see if that place is open for me to buy a t-shirt. And like I say, nowhere along here is open. Just one lot of bungalows. There's a couple of places up here. But it's awesome. And like you say, there's no one on the beach at all. There's just one person I can see up in my view line. And that's it, it's about half past nine of the morning. I'm coming up to 10. And because the tide's out, I'll be able to get past because I've got my walking boots on. It's two eagles. <laughs> oh, and I've seen more wildlife here than anywhere. I've seen monitor lizards walking out the front. I've seen squirrels. The hornbills come in. At least two or three of them have an evening. I haven't been, I've been too wasted to be even bothered to get my camera. You know, I've been sitting there watching them. Squirrels of the morning. I've got my noisy gecko and my lizard in the bathroom. He's still there. Managed to get a couple of pictures of him when he's come out to play, but he's just awesome. Awesome, but I have got to get on. I've got to get my way to Phuket, which is my next destination. Okay. The day does look like it's brightening up, which would be superb. I'm starting to brighten up. I am, I've got an adventure ahead of me and the rain is stopping which is good because obviously being on a scooter the rain is a major issue so hopefully we won't have it. I'm equipped for it but I'd rather not have it. Wow. Well I've gone past the hippie hay, it doesn't look open yet. I'm looking for monkeys and I found one look. Oh, is there more? Oh no, that's a human. We got a monkey. He's coming to see me, I think. <laughs> Is he? How are you, mate? He's jumping back. You good? Whoa. <laughs> Okay, I don't freak him out too much. I think we've seen a monkey on the island. Not the ones I want to see. I don't think they're there. Wow. Pick me brolly up. Not far from the end of the beach. <laughs> oh, there ain't no monkeys. I don't think. It's thick, deep sand. I don't want that. I don't want to get my boots wet. It started to rain again, which is annoying. That's where I'm going, these rocks. Towards the end. And when the tide's been in, it's been a bit difficult to see anything. But now the tide is out. The sun is not up, so it's not that hot. I was hoping they'd all be running about down the bottom there. They were the first day I got here. Lesson <laughs> one. I try to do it, I try to have my camera with me as much as I can, but it's just, just sometimes I do not have it with me. And that's usually the time when I really, really need it. Now, if they were down here and it weren't raining, I'd fly the drone down, but I could say they're not here and it is raining. But it's a wicked part of the beach nonetheless. And like I say, when the tide is in, it's pretty nippy. 
to get through these rocks as it was the other day but oh man so there's no monkeys disappointing <laughs> I ain't know nothing except the dog one dog okay bungalows and restaurant you know what I reckon that would be bungalows out there that'd be a cool place to live <laughs> live up the top there oh I can see them oh, I can see some monkeys okay aha one or two that's all I can see oh yeah I can see the tree going there you see the tree right in front you see all that tree movement that's deep with monkeys now the dog's coming with me that could be good news now they're all moving away from me hey we're gonna get the monkeys they are here ha <laughs> I'm happy so I don't know how much of them you can see You've got it on your big telly, you may be able to see them there running in the background in the rocks. That's where they are. And the bottom branches of this tree. So we're getting closer. Monkeys. Is there a monkey attack imminent? Oh, I hope not. Where's the dog gone? Dog's buggered off. Let's see if we can get closer. To this herd of monkeys. Wee, there's one or two more. I can see the branches swaying. Oh, there's a big one up there. Got a few in here. And they are where the trees are. Baying, bowing. Let's see how slippery this is. Give me boots on. It's not, it is slippery. It's not good. All right, so the monkeys are in there. <laughs> oh man. Do I go in there? This stuff's far too slippery. Well. Okay, I'm going in a bit. I ain't going in too much, man. Like I say, they're all, they're all swinging away from me. Not swinging away at me, that's Larry. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, they're all getting away from me. Well, that's not a bad thing, you know. At least they're all not coming for me. Okay, wicked. Well, we saw the monkeys, didn't we? We saw them. This beautiful landscape, bit of the beach that you can only get to when the tide is out. Oh man. Okay, back to the back to the ship. See if I can buy a t-shirt or not. The ship, it is awesome. Even in the wet. This place, because it's all made out of driftwood, <laughs> I think it's pretty much used to getting wet. <coughs> that is going to be slippery in there today, <laughs> I tell you. Proper slippery. It's an awesome place. One final glimpse of the trippiest thing that perhaps you're ever going to see. Swaddy cap. That's wicked. Even on a rainy day. Oh man, am I gonna buy? I don't think I am. They're not really doing it for me. We'll go in and have a look. T-shirt. Am I gonna buy a t-shirt or not? I don't think so, but I'll have a look. 
<laughs> I feel as cloudy as the weather, as per always. Oh, the fire's just getting started, like, you're gonna need that fire today, buddy. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I try to. Uh, put on YouTube, make famous, make me famous. Not yet, because I, I don't have internet, but um, this place will be on there in a, in a few days. Um, I'm leaving today, so I want to I wanna see if I can buy one of your t-shirts. How, how old are they? Are they vintage? 17 years. The t-shirts, same, same. This year. <laughs> oh, it's dark. Oh no. Ah, oh, man. Um, the good hippie age of the far memory, the hippie to be free. So I'm, I don't mind the print and the artwork on them, but ah, I don't know if that one would fit. That's something really different. Oh, the hippie bar, man. Ah, oh, they've got some shit on the back. So okay, so whatever's printed on the front. Is on the back too, I think. How much are the t-shirts, buddy? Three fifty. Three fifty? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh man, it's the three fifty. I've got to make sure I get the right one. Okay, put you guys on hold till I decide. Well, we have a t-shirt. Oh, bad. <laughs> well, quite the one I wanted. The one I wanted didn't fit. It took me ages. Ages to decide. And when I decided on the one that I wanted, the one that I wanted didn't fit. So I bought this one instead. And they're not cheap. 300 baht. They let me have it for it should be 350. Oh man. And this day, this rain, it's set in all day. And it's set in all day tomorrow as well. So and then the sun comes out. So hopefully today I'll get to Ranong. Whoa. And then tomorrow I've got this all day all day to use to get to the Phuket which would be pretty good because then the next day the sun comes out and that should be me ready to go out vlogging again on Phuket so this has been this day <laughs> my last day sadly enough on Payam when the guy told me it's set for the next day and I thought, do I stay for another day or so? Do I um, get... No, I don't. I don't. I've got to leave. I've got to get on. I won't be stuck here forever. Here he is. Ah, oh, he's gone. I thought I'd get him in all his glory. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Lizzie. In the bathroom. <laughs> I ain't got to be missing you. It's about the only thing I'm not going to miss is him. The lizard. In the bathroom. Goodbye room. I'm going to miss you. Comfy bed. Goodbye. The best balcony ever. And the sun has just come out to say goodbye. <laughs> Oh, goodbye, goodbye, I am, I'm leaving you today, goodbye, goodbye, <laughs> goodbye, sun's out, oh, it's not meant to come out for another day or so, so, that is just goodbye to the bungalow, so that sound, it's goodbye to the wonderful sound of living in the jungle. 
and I, I, I have <laughs> glad I've had earplugs but I've loved living in the jungle every day goodbye to that lovely sea lapping in on the shoreline as it has been <laughs> every day since I've been here and at night it's all you can hear is that and that goodbye hornbill birds that are never around when I've got my camera I've seen quite a few they come in sort of around four or five o'clock time into these bigger trees and you know when they're coming in because you hear them breaking the branches that 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 is if I was going to go out hornbill spot and I'd listen for the branches breaking as they move from tree to tree they don't stand still for too long oh, look at the view down there eh? right down there on them rocks oh, goodbye 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 <laughs> goodbye to this little spot I'm just walking down to because well, it's just a spot in it <laughs> look how cool that is it's only just stopped raining the sun's only just come out and that looks so idyllic and it is it is who wouldn't want to just sit here all day and all night goodbye cool spot of pie am right now if I pull my finger out I ain't got to get a boat till 3 o'clock it's only now 11 o'clock I ain't got to go anywhere so I think well what I've done <laughs> no one about no one ever about so I pulled I come into here there is Wi-Fi hopefully I've got it because now I am even though I've got a wonderful view wonderful sand I think I'll now tap into the Wi-Fi and I'll start getting this show back up to speed. So here I am living the Johns Johnson Jamson apartments, heavenly apartments in Piam. Soon to be off to the ferry. Okay. Cheers. I have pulled myself away from the apartment coming up to about two o'clock and I just came to my little restaurant that I come to every day I'll show you where it is and what it's called in a second to have my pack of pal which was really good and I've just finished it and on my second Leo of the day no one else in there there's not many restaurants that are open there's not many that are open at all you know there's not many restaurants or buildings, not hardly anything here at all. I've said that. So believe me, it's true. <clears throat> but this restaurant is really good. Pack the power is really good. And also, the Leo is really cold. You have our job getting a really cold Leo because the electricity is expensive, even though there is a power generating plant on the island. But what I love about it, uh, it's like we're coming from Ranong, being in real rural Thailand and then whatever I like I've sat here a few times now and I always look across or always look about and I love this little business let's go for a little walk I'm back and pay my bill in a minute but look look across me right every day this guy appears his store right his missus in the pink she, she usually put the fresh ones in these cabinets over here Right, and I've watched them a few times, so I've got their business down to routine. I know what they do. They work as a team. He usually has a couple of cigarettes of a morning and then a big blunt of an afternoon. But he's got a bit of a payload there today, mate. You've, you're going to be busy today, yeah? Busy? Yes. Cap on cap. Cap. <laughs> now this, I walk, I walk up a little way. I've got my bike parked there. But these, this is the main road, you catch, this is the ladies restaurant, Thai food, welcome, and it's spot on, it's really good, it's a nice little restaurant, you sit there right on the road, your daughter is in there, she'll serve you beer, there's another little, like an ice cream kind of dessert place there, and then him right there, it's right where 
this is the central road as you come off the pier you go straight up where are my apartment for about a kilometre up there on the left called Bungalow Beach and there if you can see where the little orange field station is that is the main crossroads there uh, right there and you take the first left that's where I go and buy all my produce in there which is really good there's another little produce shop just here Ah oh, man that noise but it's deafening wherever you are on this island it's proper it's deafening and this is the this is the main main road okay and you see how busy it is it is my favorite place and i'm having an hard job going to the ferry port to get away but well it's stopped raining and it's brightened up so hopefully it will stay that way as i, I believe i'm probably going to spend the night in Ra ranong tonight i know the place I'll be able to load a couple of logs up. I just tried to load one up now and it, it is too slow the internet there. It's taking too long so I didn't bother. But I, I will this evening and I've gone through all your comments. <laughs> Man, it's funny. I've said before if I've not got it, one guy, he actually nailed it. He, he, he knew where I was off to so he knew I weren't going to have any internet because there isn't any, you know. Well, there is a little bit but you've got to fight for it and find it and be bothered with it and uh, because of, uh, I like smoke and like copious amounts of wind <laughs> I've been on holiday and I and uh, holiday is over today which is all good it's all good I, I, I have been fighting uh, to, to stay but no I'm not I might, I might actually get a couple of kebabs off matey on the left and head down to the ferry after I've had my Leo so that's where I'm at I'm pushing Oh, I'm pushing on from Piam, and it's difficult because the island really is proper rural paradise. It's, oh, mate, it is awesome. I haven't never been anywhere where I've been so content. That's that's how I'd nail it. And I just love watching the business uh, opposite the road where I'm sitting. He's just burnt himself, mate. Something snapped up in his leg, looking for his cloth. <laughs> Oh, that's what I mean. It's just, it's just funny. It's just, it's just brilliant. Look, face. Confused face. Confused. It's a ferry port. Why is my face confused? There ain't no boat today. <laughs> what? There ain't no boat today, there is no boat, no slow boat today. Why not, I say? Just isn't she say? There is no boat today. Wow. <laughs> I've got to go back. I'm on one bar of fuel. I filled up when I come across slope and oh man. So I've got to stay another night. There ain't no boat today. <laughs> I'm seriously going to make a song up, man. There ain't no boat today. I fucking need a boat today. All my luggage packed. I know i got to unstrap all this. Take it all back. I ain't got nowhere. Because there ain't no boat today. <laughs> but she assures me there's a boat tomorrow. Three o'clock. Okay. So I, I won't be leaving today, will I? That's horrible. I've got to stay here for another night. Right. Long tail boat. Yeah. Can take scooter. Okay. When? When? You're joking. You go now. I'll go now. How much you charge? Three thousand five hundred. Three thousand five hundred. Yes. You're joking, man. <laughs> You charge free if I wait one more day. Only private, private. Private, private. Okay. Come here to Renault. I'll wait tomorrow. I'll wait and go tomorrow. Okay. It's crazy price, man. He think I'm a rich Thai person. Well, I have to go and stay one more night in the jungle. I know. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. 
Right, okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> right, I'm going back to my apartment. What else am I going to do? <laughs> well, what a vlog this was today. That was a proper journey from my, from my bungalow all the way back to my bungalow. <laughs> That's where I'm talking, from my bungalow, I am, to my bungalow, I am, number 10. I'm chuffed, I've been to see a man about a dog. So when I, when I come back, it was not as easy as just coming back. I had to go and see a man about a dog, and then I had to go to the provision shop, back to the crossroads, to get my stuff, you know, tobacco, Rizzlers, milk, eggs, bananas, for the next few days, water. Uh, I knocked the Leos on the head. Um, yeah, I have, so. <laughs> look at where, look, look, look. I hope I don't get picked up in the background. It's Joe Satriani time. It's, I rolled a big fat joint. And I am <laughs> in the best house. Best house. Best seat in the house. And it's starting to rain again. That's how it is here. It looks like it's going to get sunny. The sun comes out, looks sunny, and then it pisses down the rain. But I have been told it's the last day of rain today. Or did he say rain tomorrow, then sun? I don't know. I'm saying for one more night, maybe two. <laughs> no, I won't be free. No, no, maybe just one night and I'll pull out tomorrow. But it's what it is. I'm in my favourite seat of the house. I'm just going to sit here, we'll just lay here, listen to them waves roll in, whatever wildlife appears. I've got one photograph of a hornbill, that's it. So I'm hoping they come in and I can get some better photographs, but that won't be for a few hours. So anyway. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in once again. And until next time. It's fucking good here, I tell you. It is just really fucking good. Au revoir.